heat and thermodynamics uh, and it is the unit uh, it is the low temperature of physics given by the Augustin CH uh, K by Pallis, Department of Physics. In this class, uh, I mainly we will discuss about uh, the main difference between uh, the catalytic and the Joule expansion, Joule Thompson and Joule Kelvin expansion, and how the low temperature created by the phenomena of uh, the adiabatic demagnation, and how the uh, work, uh, the refrigerator works, so that means the, the refrigeration. Uh, and the finally, what are the applications of uh, materials at uh, low temperatures? So, first of all, what is the, the main difference between uh, the adiabatic expansion and uh, the Joel, Thompson or Joel uh, Kelvin expansion? See here, the sudden uh, expansion uh, by high, highly composite pairs uh, into low pressure region is the adiabatic expansion. But in case of the Joule Thompson or Joule Kelvin, here uh, the gas is passing through the porous plug from constant high pressure region to the constant low pressure region. Uh, here, uh, in the case of the adiabatic expansion, here the, some internal energy is useful to do the, the external work. So, the temperature is always decreases in adiabatic expansion. But in case of the Joule Thomson expansion or Joule Kelvin expansion, uh, the temperature is a change, either increase or decrease, it depends upon the initial temperature. So, the initial temperature is less than the inversion temperature, so the cooling effect, uh, and otherwise, it is the heating effect. And the low temperature is created by the phenomena of one of the method, it is the adiabatic demagnation uh, and it is studied under the three uh, separated principle and the diagram and its descriptive working and the theory part. And the basic principle to create the low temperature by adiabatic demagnation is the here the, the paramagnetic substance is already magnetized, it is suddenly demagnetized, there is a fall in temperature, that means a decrease in temperature. So here the descriptive part, uh, here the figure represents uh, different uh, parts uh, and uh, here the central part is the, the vessel, it is uh, in form of a cylindrical and it is connected to vacuum pump and the paramagnetic substance P is suspended in it and there is a coil is wounded around the, the cylinder vessel a, m so this coil is useful to calculate or measure the temperature and here the a cylindrical vessel is placed in the work flask b it contains the liquid helium at a temperature of 1k and the work flask b is surrounded by the another the work flask c it contains the liquid hydrogen and there also the powerful electromagnet that is by, shown by the north and south poles. And the cylindrical vessel is connected to the vacuum pump. It, it is the, the main parts in adiabatic demagnation. And here the, the, the working of the adiabatic moment is explained as, first of all, the cylindrical vessel is filled with the helium gas then it is thermal contact with the, the liquid the helium and suppose the magnetic field is switched on and the, the temperature increases but the increase in temperature is um, passing to the liquid helium and the substance temperature reaches to the 1 Kelvin and with the help of the vacuum pump uh, the liquid uh, with the help of the vacuum pump, the helium gas is removed from the, the vessel, the cylindrical vessel A, then it is thermal in contact. There is uh, no conduction between the liquid helium and the paramagnetic substance material. So here, suddenly demagnetized, the temperature decreases. And it is obtained by the second law of thermodynamics and the first law of thermodynamics. And uh, DW is equal to PDV <coughs> and it is the magnetic susceptibility chi. It is the ratio of the intensity of magnetic to magnetic induction 
and it is also defined as it is inversely proportional to absolute temperature chi is equal to c by t where c is the curie's constant so the electric sus magnetic susceptibility is i by b is also equal to c by t from this uh, relation we can get uh, the formula uh, tf minus ti is equal to k b square by uh, 2 cbt where tf is the final temperature and ti is the initial temperature uh, b is the magnetic induction and t is the absolute temperature see here uh, the finally the field is switched off so here we get the negative value so the final temperature is always less than the initial temperature so due to the adiabatic demagnetization we get uh, the uh, decrease in temperature uh, thus we create the low temperature and it is the refrigeration that means uh, uh, a uh, refrigerator means it is a instrument uh, or it is the chamber uh, producing low temperature below the surroundings and maintained at uh, the constant low temperature uh, and uh, it is a uh, figure represent the, the refrigeration and there is the uh, uh, compressor it is uh, represented by the p it is the piston and at the bottom of the compressor there are the two valves v1 and v2 and there are the two chambers so one is the condenser and other one is the evaporator and b and there is the regulator valve also and the uh, there are the two pipes also a discharge pipe and a suction pipe so for the piston p is uh, the compressor is working uh, by the electric motor and suppose the piston p moves downwards and the pressure increases the valve v1 opens v2 is closed so uh, the refrigerant refrigerant is uh, the gas is uh, passing through a uh, condenser through the pipe discharge pipe and uh, due to the uh, uh, high uh, pressure there is increase in temperature so it is decreased by passing the cold water uh, through the uh, around the condenser so the refrigerant gas is converts into uh, the liquid so with the help of the uh, regulator valve the pressure is reduced and the refrigerant is in the state of the liquid and it passing through the evaporator or the enclosure e so here uh, the liquid is evaporating by taking or the absorbing the heat energy in evaporator or the enclosure so the temperature is decreases in the same time the piston p is moving upwards so the pressure is decreases in this case the v1 is closed and the valve v2 opens so the low pressure vapor refrigerant is enters into the compressor and the process is repeated again and again and in each cycle there is a temperature decreases in enclosure so suppose the temperature is reaches the, the desired value at the working of the, the compressor is uh, stops uh, temporarily and uh, uh, if the temperature increase again its working is starts this is the uh, working of the, the refrigeration so so the refrigerator is uh, the working of the condenser engine in the reverse direction that means there is working on the engine and the applications of the materials at low temperatures and the the main application at low temperature the materials the resistance is decreases and that means it reaches to the superconducting state then there is without the loss of the, the electric energy there is passing from uh, one place to other place and there are also liquid ammonia liquid sulfur dioxide free and gas and also there is full in the research also 